their UWO debuts in some tag team action. The team of Southern Aristocracy, Anthony Wilde, and the Cajun Sensation. Eddie LaVon making their way to the ring for some tag team competition. Two on two in a UWO ring. to the ring by Lucian Loveless, Psychotic to Death, Cade Fight, and Malachi. Two established tag teams here on the Oklahoma Independent Scene, the Psychotic Messengers and Subject to Death coming together in a sort of an unholy union led by Lucian Loveless, the Baron of Blood. And uh, you know these two are looking to spill some blood tonight against Southern Aristocracy, two debuting teams looking to uh, make a huge impact on the tag team scene here at Unified Wrestling Oklahoma. Now when you tell me that you're subjecting me to death, I already start to panic. But whenever it's in a psychotic format, you know that it's gonna be dangerous. Psychotic to death, Kate fight Malachi. These two men, they might be underdogs here in the uh, being established tag team division in Unified Wrestling Oklahoma. We don't have tag team championships in UWO, but if the time ever came, if the place was ever right, Kate fight and Malachi, they would be there. They would know what to do in this situation. Uh, well-established tag team wrestlers in their own right, having never tagged together this their first time as a pair. Uh, they're giving up that experience as a team to Southern Aristocracy. Anthony Wilde and Eddie LeBron were relatively new in their professional wrestling careers, but they have been a tag team basically their entire careers. Unlike these two who have been in separate tag teams, sometimes facing off against each other, but sometimes what a better way to come familiar with your partner than face off with them. Yeah, you never know when Kate Fighter Malachi are ever going to face off against one another in the squared circle. I know that they have in the past, and uh, I'm not too sure what the phrasing is there. The enemy of the enemy is the friend or whatever. Kate Fight and Malachi, they know each other, the ins and outs. They've been here after a huge cross body. Only a two count says our referee, Chris Charlie. Kate Fight and Malachi know each other like the inside and outside of the backs of their own hands. Meanwhile, Anthony Wilde and Eddie LeVon, this is a very interesting partnership. I'm not too certain what, what unifies these two men other than seeking championship gold. Sometimes that is the only unifying factor you need, a mutual love for gold. A pair of guys find they work well together and start chasing after that tag team gold wherever they can find it. As you mentioned, no tag team titles in UWO just yet. But this is a great way to show that if those titles are introduced, you are one of the teams that should be in that first turn. A guy raining down punches out of that Luthes press. And the one trying to seek refuge in the corner here. A slightly more experienced Malachi. Fight now in the ring alongside his partner Malachi fight the little man. Double clothesline there took both men to get big Eddie Levon down. The Cajun sensation out at two. I guarantee he's gonna be back up and looking for his corner, but instead he's in the corner of psychotic to death. Psychotic messenger member Malachi in the ring now. Double hit Malachi off the ropes. Leg Lariat there, driving that leg across the throat of Eddie LeVon. Only getting a two count though. Now right back to that head, raining down elbows. You know, James, I spoke a little bit with Eddie LeVon in the back, and from what I could understand through the accent and all, one thing was gotten across very quickly to me. This is a man that likes to have fun. This is a man who loves to be inside the squared circle. And then he tried to offer me a drink afterwards. So all I'm saying, wait a minute, the cover. 
Listen, all, all I'm getting at here, James, is that I think Eddie LaVon might need to be tested for performance-enhancing substances or something along the line. Eddie LaVon has spent many a night along Bourbon Street, but I assure you all substances in his body have been cleared by UWO officials as Malachi and Kate Fight are laying it to the Cajun sensation now with a series of blows, but Eddie LaVon caught him and sent Cade Fight to the outside. Malachi now facing the same fate. Anthony Wild on Cade Fight on the outside. Bringing the legal man back in to Eddie LaVon, his partner. Now it's Southern Aristocracy's opportunity to capitalize. And capitalize he very well may. Eddie LaVon, look at the power on this man. Oh my God. Massive chop there to the chest of Cade Fight. And trying to soften up that chest, that core of Cade Fight. If you're Cade Fight here, you need to try and find a way to create some distance, some separation. And beyond that, you need to find a way to get out of the Southern Aristocracy corner. Anthony Wilde and Eddie Levant, when they have you in their clutches, there is a very, very small chance you're getting out of it unscathed. Cade Fight, Malachi had it on display earlier. If you can keep your opponent in your corner, making those frequent tags in and out, the fresher your men are, the less likely you are to take damage and the more damage you can inflict on your opponent. See, Charlie having a bit of an argument here with Anthony Wilde in the corner. You don't want to mess with a man who's crazy, and you definitely don't want to mess with a man who's wild. So Anthony Wilde stepping to the wrong man here. Eddie LaVon, though, look at that, splash in the corner. All the way crashing down onto your sternum, James. It's devastating. They're crazy, they're wild, they're psychotic, and that's just the ones in the ring right now. Tossing Cade Fight by his head and neck, only getting a two count there. A bit of a lax daisy cover by Eddie LaVon, but cinching right back in with that uh, chin lock there. Trying to squeeze the life out of Cade Fight, and Fight realizing he's got to stay alive. He's got to create that separation. Sometimes just a couple of elbows can cause that grip to loosen. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Okay, fight. He's looking worse for worse for wear. I want to ask you a little bit about the communication between both teams. We know that Anthony Wilde and Eddie Levon, they're, they're very communicative in the ring. They have had a long-standing, long-forming relationship here in the squared circle. Cade fight and Malachi, on the other hand. I mean, I don't even know if Malachi speaks English, James. I can't recall having a conversation with Malachi. Normally, I try to stay away from any horned beings uh, just as a general rule of thumb. But, you know, if there is a language barrier there, that's got to make it that much difficult uh, for a team that hasn't teamed before, unlike Southern Aristocracy, who's teamed together, been in high-pressure tag team situations. They train together, they travel together. They're truly a, a well-functioning tag team as Wilde and Malachi in the ring now. Malachi with a clothesline, but he can't take Anthony Wilde down off his feet. Behind, looking one arm and a cutter from Malachi, dropping Anthony Wilde flat of his face. But Eddie Levon had a hold of Lucian Loveless. I don't know why he was going after Psychotic to Death's manager, but a roll up here by Anthony Wilde. One, two, three. There we go. We have our winners, Southern Aristocracy.